Today, I have some good news and also some bad news. The bad news is, is that Marco Freni Zombie has been taken to prison, but we have no idea why or what he's done. But the good news is, is that out of our zombie squad, me and you have been chosen to get him out, which I'm really excited to do. But before Marco Freni Zombie left to prison and the police came, he went ahead and made this very unusual conveyor belt, which I need to go and find out what's inside. So, let's do this. If I press these levers, I'm assuming they'll go ahead and give us some very unusual pickaxes. Marco Freni Zombie went ahead and added a pickaxe and also a random block. So these random blocks will go ahead and make some sort of weird pickaxe. So we have a bedrock pickaxe, cool, which I'm guessing is combining bedrock and some normal wood. And then we have some sort of extreme pickaxe. Oh, these are going to be so amazing, which I'm assuming some sort of diamond and gold one. But I did notice that there's going to be a lot more pickaxes in there. Marco Freni Zombie went ahead and made about a total of nine of them. So, let's do this. I can see so many pickaxes coming out of the droppers. That is awesome. Okay, let's do this. It should fill up my whole inventory. Awesome. We have a TNT, a blaze, an ender eye, spider eye, a notch apple. Oh, that's going to be amazing. A slime and also a magma one. And I went ahead and actually sorted out a few items myself. Because if we're going to break into prison, we have to totally be ready. Well, let's do this. I've got a whole zombie outfit, which should make us look like some sort of prisoner. So let's put on our boots, our leggings, our chest plate, and also our helmets. <laughs> Perfect! This is exactly what I wanted. Now, I'm a little bit nervous as well. I have a feeling if they catch us, they might put us into prison with Marco for any zombie. But then using these pickaxes, we should be able to get out. And I've got a revolver for last minute plans, just in case something goes wrong. And also a diamond sword. So guys, let's do this. I'm totally ready to go ahead and get Marco Freni Zombie out of this prison. Gosh, <laughs> look at this giant revolver. Okay, I'm not going to be incognito whatsoever. I need to sort this out. Do you know what? Let's swap over these two weapons and hopefully that's just sort everything out. Yep, I'm so glad it did. Well guys, let's do this. Let's head to the prison and get Marco Freni Zombie out of there. Okay, I'm trying to blend in with our surroundings, but I've found the prison where Marco Freni Zombie is being kept. Now, the good news and the bad news is, is that I'm assuming the pickaxes should easily get us in. But the bad news is, is that look how many prison guards there are. We're going to have to somehow sneak in as a zombie and get out of there. But being a zombie like this is not going to work out at all. I'm a little bit worried that they could easily see me and pretty much start shooting at me with their wonderful guns. Let's see. Okay, I'll be able to tell if they're actually really nice or really dangerous very easily. So, let's go inside and figure it out. Hello! How's it all going, guys? Ah, you guys look awesome. I'm just going to walk in. I'm just going to open a few doors and hopefully... Hey, buddy! Don't you dare! No! Okay, we have to get out of here. Let's go up this ladder and hopefully get out. Oh, wait, they're everywhere! Guys, this is not good. <laughs> Everyone is going to start shooting at us. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to use my revolver. Let's do this. And perfect. Awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. There we go. And perfect. Let's use our next one. Excuse me, buddy. There we go. And perfect. Gosh, do you know what? These weapons are really strong, but I'm not really sure why I'm not able to kill them. Ah, perfect. There we go. And wonderful. The next one. No, I think we're all out. Guys, our revolver is all out. So now we're stuck to going ahead and using our pickaxes. Okay, let's get all the guards up here first and hopefully this should be okay. Now we were pummeled by a police officer, which I don't think is good whatsoever. Chickens, stay right here, okay? You can go ahead and keep hold of my revolver. Now I need to sort out my pickaxes because some of these are going to easily get us into that prison. And some of them are going to destroy the whole place into bits. Now, I'm going to have to sort everything out. I'm a little bit worried that this could easily be a disaster or could be totally amazing. Well, guys, let's use this. I'm going to use our ender pearl to go ahead and get right back on the roof. Perfect. And I'm going to use our blaze one to go ahead and light this security guard on fire. Here we go. And I think this one will go ahead and give him poison. Oh, did he die? <laughs> that is awesome. And I can see Marco from his zombie right in there. Now, the best thing we can do before it gets dark is go ahead and mine our way through. And awesome. And let's do this. Oh, there's another one. Perfect. And let's use our notch apple. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, I'm going to have to break our way through. And thankfully, these pickaxes are so strong. Gosh, the bedroom one is absolutely crazy. 
Now, I do know if we press this lever, it opens the front gate. And if we press this one, it opens all the prison cells. So let's find out who's inside. Oh, we have a pig? <laughs> what did he do? Steal some wheat or some carrots? Okay, let's find out the next one. Ah, a spider. Of course, he most likely killed someone. <gasps> okay, don't go inside the next one, guys. That's really scary. Well, all we gotta do now is go ahead and hit everyone once, and we should be able to do this. Perfect. Keep going. And awesome. This is not gonna end out to be a very good day whatsoever. Let's also hit them another time with this pickaxe, and this should hopefully poison them very easily. There we go. And wonderful. <laughs> I'm so glad this is working. And this next slime one will go ahead and slow our enemies down. Perfect and good. Okay, I'm so glad these are working. But the crazy thing is, is that I have a feeling this TNT one is going to be awesome. You guys ready? Let's do this. Yes! But I wasn't sure it was going to blow us up as well. Okay, let's get out of here. Thankfully, we have night vision, so it's turning the sky into madness. But you know what, guys? I'm going to give them a little bit of time to respawn. I need to make sure that Marco from your zombie will go ahead and escape without any sort of police guard respawning on the spot. So let's give it a few minutes. Okay, thankfully it's daytime again, and I don't think any guards actually respawn, which I think was awesome. So, let's run straight in, and let's get killing these security guards. The ones that were poisoned went ahead and died overnight, which I think was perfect. Awesome! And with this bedrock, we can pretty much break the whole prison apart, and we can let go of these wonderful items. Okay, we don't want that guy coming out, but we do want the spider to be free, because I don't think he's done anything wrong. And I've noticed we also have the pig inside. There we go, and perfect. Now, they're probably not going to know who I am, especially because underneath this mask, it's me. <laughs> so let's go and put our mask back on. All they're going to say to the village, you news is that some zombie broke into the prison. Well, let's do this. Let's open up here. And perfect. Mark, how you doing, buddy? Don't you worry. I'll get you out. And I don't know how, but I got the revolver back. So let's go ahead and leave that right there. And that could be our little murder mystery weapon. Okay, let's go right to the top. And let's hit them with these wonderful items. They'll never know what hit them. Perfect and good. Okay, let's get out of here. Perfect. Did it work? Okay, awesome. It kind of worked. <laughs> Thankfully, they're burning up there. And everything is turning out to be fantastic. Huh? Okay, that's not good. We need to get back. Come on. Ah, oh, and our ender pickaxe broke. That sucks. Okay, I can see the police guards on fire, which I think is perfect. And they're the only two guards left. And once that's done, we can go ahead and get Mark up and his zombie out of there. Mark, how's it going, buddy? I'm so glad you're doing okay. Thankfully, everything's okay. Let me just go upstairs and kill the last security guards. Oh, and perfect. And I think we've done it. That is awesome. Well, Mark, we're free. Let's get out of here. Let's use our bedrock pickaxe to break through the prison. And hopefully, this should be awesome. Well, Mark, you're totally free now. No one's ever going to lock you in prison for something you didn't do. Well, let's get out of here. So, guys, I'm going to take Mark up from your zombie back home, and hopefully, he'll be super happy. And then go ahead and hide all of these crazy pickaxes so no one ever assumes it was ever us. I was able to stash every single one of the pickaxes and also every single one of our zombie outfits. Wait! They're outside Marco Frenny Zombie's house. They've gone ahead and figured it out. They think Marco Frenny Zombie went ahead and killed these poor monsters. Okay, let's go and actually go and kill the rest of these police guards so hopefully everything will be over. Ah, a revolver again. Do you know what? I could easily use this. Okay, let's put on our boots, our leggings, our chest plate, and perfect. And let's take this off our first slot. That gun is well too big. Well, to be able to actually go ahead and add some more items, all we're going to do is pretty much go all the way around and perfect. And let's go and start getting rid of some police officers. Hopefully, they'll be okay once this is all over. And go ahead and show them the proof that Marco from your zombie is actually innocent. Well, here we go. Perfect. Good. Awesome. <laughs> this is actually crazy. I never thought we'd actually be able to go ahead and kill these poor police guards. Wait, stay back. They're shooting at us as well. Okay, we've got to get out of here. Let's go ahead and reload our revolver. And let's go and put some flare cartridges in. This should be very exciting. Now, they're jumping around because they're so mad. And there we go. Awesome. Perfect. And good. Hopefully, this will go ahead and sort everything out. Round here we go. And perfect. And I can pretty much see them around everywhere. So, hopefully, this will sort everything out. Okay, let's go ahead and take out the rest of these items. And we should be able to sort this all out. I'm going to use the Dragon Breath one. This is going to be so cool. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it works. <gasps> awesome! That is so cool! It pretty much hits everything in the whole vicinity. Okay, this one is really awesome. I'm assuming it's the Ender Dragon's Breath. That is so cool. 
And perfect! I think we've done it! Okay, Marco Friendly Zombie should now be free, and I can go ahead and show the police officers exactly why I know Marco Friendly Zombie is innocent. Well guys, this has been so awesome, I'm so happy being able to use these crazy guns, and I have a feeling this is well too much power for me. I don't want to hold a revolver ever again. Well guys, I will see you soon in another crazy Minecraft video, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below the button that's red, and don't forget to press the notifications bell. And as Marco Friendly Zombie would say, <laughs> which means, peace out. So guys, I'll see you soon. Peace out.